Go. Hello. Today we're learning <laughs> the deadlift. <laughs> so, what we're going to do at the start is we're going to work on the feet and work our way up. <clears throat> so, uh, the feet are going to be right about under your hips to get that perfectly aligned. You're going to twist one foot, test the other, bring it back forward. From here, uh, you want your whole core engaged, so you want a flat back. No rounding of the back ever. Keep your chest up high. Um, for the grip, you want right about shoulder width apart on the outside of your knees is, is good. Um, you want to be about a thumb's length away from the smooth part of the bar, um, the grippy part. So also you want to have a vertical shin. The vertical shin, um, so you keep weight in the heels. So uh, you should be kind of falling backwards a little bit before the lift and bring it straight up close to the legs. And we'll bring it right back down, keeping that back nice and flat. One more time. And uh, you also want to keep your hips relatively high. Uh, you don't want to keep a straight leg, otherwise it's called a good morning. And you're going to work out your hamstring pretty well. So keep a good bend in your, in your knees, but not too much so it's straight. But you want to have a little bend, so your hips are up high. There you go, that's the deadlift. Next, we're going to learn the clean. Same start position. Um, for this one, you're going to drop your hips a little bit lower, but still that vertical shins. Chest up still, flat back. Um, excuse me. The progression for this one is, one, you're going to deadlift it up, and then you're going to bump with the hips to pull it straight up close to the body. you got to keep the bar path really close to the body. Otherwise, you're going to have a rough time receiving the bar in a stable position. So to do that, I'll show you one time all the way through and then we'll break it down. So, up, down low. So, to do this, bring it up and then uh, a good one progression is one, you want to do a little bit of a, the, from the, the position two, I believe. Is that correct? I think so. Okay, here you can do a drive your shoulders back and then bump it up with the hips. So it's kind of do a little shrug. So you bump, shrug to pull it up. From here you bump, shrug, drop underneath. And then the next progression is just do a deadlift and add to that. So do a deadlift first, then drop, catch. Keep those elbows up high, otherwise the bar is going to fall down. And that's going to create a lot of wrist pressure. Just drop the bar. <laughs> Don't want to save it to hurt the wrists. Keep those feet relatively close. Same position. Last time. Bring it up. Drop, catch down low. Next one we're going to do is the front squat. So basically we just did that. But for this one you're going to start with your feet a little wider. Um, just right maybe on the outside of your hips. You want to keep those elbows parallel to the ground. Keep your chest nice and high. Anytime the, uh, the elbows dip, the bar is going to fall forward, so we don't want that, that's going to hurt the wrist again. So with that, you want to squat low, keep weight in the heels, not the toes. Push the knees out, keep the chest nice and high, get below the knees, and come right back up. And that's the front squat. Again, one more time, knees going out, weight in the heels at the bottom, you can see there's no pressure on my toes, and I come right back up. From here we're going to show you the push press. Come your feet in a little bit for this one. You're going to re-grip the bar so you have a full fingers grip on it. Drop your elbows a little bit. Shrug your shoulders up so it's not resting on your clavicle. From here, you're going to drop. Do a little oompa loompa. Just drop down. Push up. Just like that. Keep your feet on the ground. And one time. Go here. And up. Drive your head through. You should not be able to see your biceps when you're looking at the, at the top position. So I can only see my biceps so I turn my head, but not right here. Then bring it back down. Drop down. From here, just bounce it right back up. And there it is, the finished position. And that's the progression.